Hey everybody, Miss Michelle here. With our activity today, we are going to be learning about bugs. So I chose to read the book, Bugs, Bugs, Bugs. The book is by Bob Barner. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I want to see bugs. Butterflies that flutter in the sky. Spotted ladybugs that go creeping by. Friendly daddy long legs that never bite. Grasshoppers hop, hop, hopping out of sight. A fuzzy caterpillar with tiny feet. Bees buzzing by flowers that smell so sweet. A long line of ants that work so much. Roly poly bugs that curl up when I touch. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I can see buggy bugs all around me. Bee, grasshopper, ladybug, ant, caterpillar, roly poly bug, butterfly, and daddy long legs. And this has a bugometer. And it has various questions and facts about the various bugs. Can it fly? Where does it live? How many legs? And does it sting? That's the end of our Bugs, Bugs, Bugs book. So let's get started on our project for today. Hey guys, Miss Michelle here with our project that goes along with our Bugs, Bugs, Bugs book reading. I chose to do life cycle of a butterfly sensory bottles. Um, they only have these jars at the Dollar Tree, but if you use Gatorade bottles, that'll be better than the water bottles just because um, we are going to be using different types of pasta to represent each life cycle stage for a butterfly. So I found these small circular Asimi de Pepe. These are going to be stage one, our eggs, because as you can see, they're super, super tiny circular pieces of pasta. For our caterpillar stage, stage two, I have some different rainbow colored rotini. So we'll use that for stage two. For stage three, the chrysalis or the cocoon, I have some medium shells. And then for stage four, our butterflies, some bow tie pasta. All right, let's get started. For our first jar, which is stage one, the egg stage, we are going to place the small Asini de Pepe pasta into our jar. So now that we have it open up, obviously with your children, I would make it might be easier to do it with a funnel. Right now, I'm just making a mess, maybe, and hoping that I don't, so that I don't have a lot to clean up. All right, so here go our caterpillar eggs into the jar. And I may end up with a little bit extra. If you need to kind of shake it out to even it out, that's fine too. Um, but it looks like maybe that should be good enough, I think. All right. So I'm going to give it one more shake and I'm going to put that aside. Okay, step two, the caterpillars. I chose rainbow routine just to make it a little bit more fun um, color-wise for the sensory bottle. But if you get regular routine, you can do that too. I just thought it's a little bit more fun where there are a few different color options. So, oops. At least this one is easier to clean up when they go flying everywhere. All right, so stage two caterpillars are done. Step three, 
And stage three is our cocoons. So I'm gonna open up these medium shells here. And again, this will be another easy one if you dump it all over the place because you can easily just pick them up. And look at that, I'm making a giant mess. Wow. I guess instead of dumping more out of the box, I should probably clean up the ones that are here. That's probably a better idea. So we're gonna get this nice and full. All right, I think step three is good. All right, so step four, guys, is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to make my bow ties a little bit more fun, so I'm going to use some paint to make the bow ties purple. And then this step's gonna be a little bit more um, tricky because when you're using paint, you need to let it dry, obviously. So, I use a Ziploc bag, um, probably just so that we're not wasting, it's probably a good idea for me to fill up the jar to see how much I actually have to use. Because if I don't have to use the whole box, then that's better. So let's see, come on little butterflies, get in there. Yeah, it looks like I won't, you won't even need a full box of the butterflies. All right, so there's that, and we're ready to move on to the paint step. All right, guys, so to turn your bow tie pasta into some beautiful butterflies, I'm going to dump them into this gallon Ziploc bag. I have purple paint. I bought this at the Dollar Tree, so I don't feel so bad about using a ton of it because it's super inexpensive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dump some paint in there, squirt it all in there. I'll probably have to use this whole container that I have in here, but that's okay. All right. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to want to lift the bag up Make sure that all the air is getting taken out of there. And you're gonna wanna close this up like so. Okay, and then once it's closed up, you can have your child throw the pasta around in the bag so that it's coating all of the different bow tie pieces. That way we don't have some silly looking butterflies, okay. All right, so I would suggest using possibly a cookie sheet or any type of reusable plastic container so that when you dump out the butterflies, they are able to dry. So I will do that now and I will show you what All that right, guys. Like. So I found this box that I had had something shipped to me in and that's what I'm gonna use to allow my butterflies to dry. Um, if you open the bag and you can see some of them aren't completely purple, then you can always sit there and kind of mush the paint around a little bit more to get it to where they are beautiful and purple. I mean, they're not gonna come out perfect either because especially with the bow ties, they have all those ridges and everything. So it's a little bit harder to get the paint all in one nice coating, but you do the best you can and you try. So I'm gonna keep squishing this up a little bit. It's time to dump out your butterflies onto a, I would say probably the best bet for drying 
is a cookie sheet just because I've used a cookie sheet before. Um, but again, I'm just going to use this box for right now. And as you can see, um, some of the butterflies are not quite completely purple everywhere. So what I might try to do is see if I can eke out a little bit more paint um, from my container. And that might help to uh, get the rest of these butterflies looking nice and purple. I mean, there will be a lot of the butterflies in the jar once they're dry. So, I mean, it won't be super noticeable that the whole butterfly is not completely purple. All right, so I would let these dry overnight just because I have, um, oops, I threw some out just because I have so many and then we will assemble the fourth butterfly life cycle jar once these are dry. All right guys, so as you can see, my purple butterfly bow ties are pretty much dry. And like I said, some of them, you know, didn't completely coat, but that's totally fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them all into the jar. You need to shake it a little bit to level it out. That's perfectly fine too. And I'm still dropping them. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, well, there are a couple extras, but we're gonna stuff them in. All right, so now that we have all four jars completely filled, we are going to get ready to seal them up. All right, guys, so as you can see, these were more or less almost like a canning jar. So I'm going to leave these pushed down on top and I'm going to use the lids to place the Mod Podge inside in order to secure the lids. So let's start there. All right, guys, so I applied the Mod Podge on the inside here of these lids and then I quickly turned it over and twisted them on top. Um, if you want to, you can wipe off the excess Mod Podge. Um, I don't have anything to do that right now, so I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna continue doing this with each of the jars. All right, guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is used some labels to create a sticky label to place on the jars for each stage of the butterfly. So I'm going to put those on now. And there you have it, guys, the four stages of the butterfly sensory bottles and apparently a cameo by Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Guys, thank you for joining me for this life cycle of a butterfly sensory jar activity, and I'll see you guys soon.